with the depth you all have on, uh, you know, just, just throughout the unit, uh, is there one part that really you might consider um, the heart of it, or is like everybody really kind of feel like now we, we're all equal contributors? Uh, I feel like uh, we're all equal contributors, but it's one person who always catches my eye is Mike Edwards. Like, because so, I get caught in the boundary of the field, and he's always to the field, or or he's in nickel, and just being able to play so many positions and make so many plays. He just, I think, even like he don't talk a lot. Well, he's learning to talk a lot, but I feel like he's the heart and soul of our defense, secondary. Thanks. What do you look forward to in this scrimmage tomorrow? Is that going to be really the first time for you guys to really kind of show out? And I'm really, really looking situation? forward to uh, seeing how physical our defense is because, I mean, we can't really hit too much during the week. And Saturday we were finally able to hit, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how physical our defense is. Has there been any uh, trash talk leading up to that? Any bets or bragging rights? Nah, not too much. I don't even. I haven't heard anything at all, <laughs> honestly. But I'm pretty sure it's going to come out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in these matchups that you have out here to date, any of the receivers really giving you a great battle like every day? Who do you most look forward to kind of getting out there um, and competing with? Uh, I, go, I get a good battle out of all our receivers. I mean, K1, K1 bring out some competition to me. He, he brings, like, the competition out of me. Just If I am just want to be average, I'm not going to have an average day with K1. I'm not going to have an average day with Dorian as far as – like K1 is gonna block me to the whistle is on Dorian might be like he gonna block me and then like the whistle's blown he stopped immediately so he's playing smart and like I'm gonna have competition with all of them. Is that the is it the physicality with yeah. those two guys? It's the physicality good? with those two and I love them. You're not gonna run across too many guys that are you know much bigger or stronger than right. Them. That's all I face in this league. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, when when you go up against uh, K1, mm -hmm. what what have you seen that he's added? this season from last year. You know he had the injury last year and really didn't get a chance to show everything he could do. But what's he showing you? Going against him in practice, like when I said the receivers are changing that game, he really has shown me how he's evolving his game. Like if I take this away from him, he's really doing something to get it back. Like if I take an outside release from him, he's gonna go inside and immediately do a move to try to get back outside. He's really evolving his game. Yeah. It, it looks like from a confidence level, what we saw, you know, in the fan day mm -hmm. practice, it seems like he's really more comfortable, uh, you know, talking to other guys yeah. and, and, and trying to lead and that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, he, he, I think that, like, in their, at their position, I really think he's one of the leaders as far as uh, I'm a talk it, walk it type of dude too. So, like, I'm not just going to say it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you I can do it, so you got to do it too. Have you taken any of these young DBs? Oh, yeah, I, I got, I mean, I always had Jordan, then we got Michael Nesbitt, Cedric Dort. I really took him under my wing. How are Nesbitt and Dort coming along? Oh, uh, they, they're doing really good. They had some good PBUs today. Said could have ended two minutes in the interception. He broke up the pass right then, picked it. He didn't so. finish it? Nah, he didn't have finish to hit the ground? It. Yeah, he know it. He know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. All right, thank you.